Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a brand new release. This just dropped yesterday. 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football six box half case pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We had a little uh, little, little flash sale, a little promo going on earlier today. So thanks to everybody who took advantage of that. And thanks to everybody who bought, uh, who followed the instruction, got at least two teams because you got a chance at break credit at the end of the break. If you're watching live, don't let me forget that. If I do forget it, it'll, the randomizer will be in a separate video. I've been known to forget. <laughs> Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team three on the 11th. Appreciate everybody getting in. I think people are pretty, uh, this Donner's Optic has gotten pretty popular over the years. Nice, made in the USA. So let's see which half case we're gonna do. We're gonna select a die and then roll the die. Use that one. So one, two, three for this column right here, four, five, six for that column right there. And it's two, so we're gonna do the left side. So this side, we will save for pick your team four, which I think is just a handful of teams away if you wanna run this back. So we'll mark those with four so you know they're from the same case. Set those bell on my back table there. All right, and let's roll. I'm assuming there's, traditionally there's hot boxes. I think it should be the same this year. Does anyone know for sure? This is my first look at it. We got Tua and uh, Russell Wilson on the front right here. One autograph per box on average. cardboard right there in the bottom. All right, well, good luck, everyone. Ben saying the black Pandora parallels are really nice. Also, all cards ship, it says in the description, too. Out of, the out of 25s, all right. Now, this, is, this is actually my first look at it. Can we confirm if there are, uh, do you know if there are hot boxes or not, Ben? Or anybody? Traditionally, optic, all the optic, Donner's optic products, you generally have a hot box or two. Either a, you know, one with like a ton more parallels or one with a couple extra autographs. I think the new parallels Find new parallels according to our item description. Silver circles are numbered to 125. Pink velocity to 79. Lime green. 35. You put the lime in the coconut. Pat saying one downtown and one RPA per case. All right. Okay, you've only seen one. Hopefully, we'll be able to run through a number of these. I think all of the half case breaks, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have on the site. I think are all maybe in single digits. And then once we knock those out, maybe we can think about posting some more. All right. There's Clyde Edwards Hilaire. We're just talking about Matthew Stafford before we started the break. Hopefully, um, Rams fans here are ho hoping that they're going to see. See, it's a lot of success with him, at least more consistency. Wow. And we're going to lead off right away with a rated rookie hollow Justin Herbert. 
That's going to go to Franz and the Chargers. Picked up the bolts straight up. Nice. Uh, he's got a, I was wondering, he's got a visor on there. It looked a little weird for a second. Nice. Not a bad start. We got Marquise Brown to 179. And our first autograph is going to be 9 out of 60. Terrell Lewis. For Steve and the Rams. Hollywood Brown, of course, goes to the Ravens. Sean Maddock. It's Nick Chubb, Dominators. And remember, all cards ship. Ooh, it's a good time to get this. Congrats to Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Capola with the Bucks. There you go. That's a red parallel. 55 out of 99. The way he's playing, he might play to 55. There you go. Good time to, to get Tom Brady. There's Joe Burrow, rated rookie, just a base Joe Burrow, but still nice, going to Ruben and the Bengals. Got a Kyler Murray parallel to 299, that's for John. We'll get all those top loaded before they're sorted out, of course, just in the interest of time. And we got a rated rookie, Jordan Love. 61 out of 99, Green Bay Packers. That'll be for Sean. We got Clyde Edwards here, Hilaire. It's a cool uh, mythical. And an Ezekiel Elliott mythical. This one's numbered 19 out of 25. Pretty nice. There you go. That'll go to the Cowboys along with that CD Lamb too. CD Lamb, Dame. Could look pretty good. Who's gonna throw him the ball next year though? I think Dame's a Cowboys fan. Who's throwing him the ball? Yeah, that was a pretty nice start. I, I like this. Uh, the optic design's pretty clean this year. I don't think they deviated too much from last year's optic, but that's okay. But it's a it's a nice, clean, sharp look, as we would normally expect from uh, from this product. Box two of six. This is Picker Team three. Scheduled also in the chat, folks. Pinned in the chat if you want to look at what fillers we need to do. What's coming up next? Actually, there's nothing up next. I'll have to go through about 26 orders, though, after I'm done with this break. It takes, it's going to take a little bit of time, though. Gino saying, if it isn't Dak, then the Cowboys will have screwed up worse than they even usually do. And and you're a Cowboys fan. You know, you'll continue to suffer as a Cowboys fan. Yeah, you got you got to re-sign Dak Prescott, right? There's already some organizational familiarity. You know, you've invested so much time and money into the kid already, so on and so forth. And he, he looked great, too, until, I mean, it was actually the Cowboys' defense that sort of let him down this season. But he was looking excellent leading up to that injury. And Ben, ben saying Dak Prescott can go to San Francisco if he wants to. Right, I think on the break schedule, if you click that link and you click uh, 2021 NFL HC, originally was a head, head coach list right there, but I also added a quarterback column uh, in that break schedule. There's a lot of potential change that could happen. A lot of potential change that could happen at the quarterback position. There's already a lot of head coaching changes. But a lot of QB changes, teams getting new QBs through the draft, maybe trading existing QBs, 
or maybe drafting just to prepare for aging QBs or maybe QBs that'll finish their big contract and maybe look elsewhere. Next box, we got Tyron Matthew to 99. Got into a little bit with Brady on the Super Bowl. C.J. Henderson, rated rookie, hollow for the Jags, Patrick. And this will go to Matt and the Chiefs. There he is again, this time to 199. He might be able to build a rainbow if we, get, if we see some more of him. There's two a tongue of Iloa. That's an insert. Still pretty nice. Let's find his. Maybe we'll find a hollow version of him too. Dolphins. There's Adam Thielen. Jeff Gladney, hollow. We got there. Speaking of Dak Prescott, there he is. That's for Dame. Yeah, he does seem like a good dude, you know. That's for sure. Now, is there trouble in paradise in Seattle, too? I started hearing that today from a couple people. A couple different people talking about that. We got Eno Benjamin to 299. That is for John. And Devin Asiasi, 8 out of 35, Lime Green for the Patriots. Karen with the Pats. And 38 out of 50, Antonio Gibson autograph. Nice. That's for Mark Bissett and the Washington football team. And another base Brady here for Grizzle and the Buccaneers. I think there was, wasn't there? There's DeAndre Swift orange to 199. I guess it's worth digging out. It is your, your AP Offensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I don't know if these these inserts. I mean, it's Justin Herbert. I don't know if the. I think these inserts will still do okay if it's the big names. But obviously, that hollow Justin Herbert rated rookie that we pulled is definitely the big chase out of here. There's DeAndre Swift, one ninety nine. Next box. <clears throat> so, just looking quickly at the quarterback list on on. If you go to the break schedule, then you click the uh, twenty twenty one NFL. I'll put H. Maybe I'll even rename that. HC, head coach, QB, and we've got coordinators there too. Um, I mean, there could be a lot of QB change. Cardinals aren't changing their QB, right? They, I think they're happy with Kyler Murray for now. Matt Ryan, could could they draft the QB? Falcons could be looking for a new QB. They're, they're going to – Lamar Jackson's not going anywhere. Josh Allen's not going – I'm just going down the list team list of teams alphabetically. I think I heard something about Teddy Bridgewater, maybe not. Like they could move on from Teddy Bridgewater. I don't think they actively will, but what's going on with Trubisky? They're not keeping Trubisky, are they? I mean, they you got to think that the Bears are looking for alternatives. Bengals, we're, we're going to stick with Joe Burrow, obviously. Um, Baker Mayfield, I think, looked great last season. He'll stay with the Cleveland Browns. Cowboys, we just talked about him. Probably sign, re-sign Dak Prescott. That would probably be, but who knows what's going to happen there. D Denver Broncos, are they satisfied with with Drew Locke out there? Lions have Goff now. Packers, is there trouble in, in Paradise in Green Bay? Deshaun Watson, will they honor the trade request? Colts, Phillip Rivers retired. They haven't replaced their, they haven't gotten their quarterback yet. 
Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, probably. Obviously, Kansas City has Mahomes. Raiders, I think there's been a little bit of rumblings. I don't think Carr is going anywhere, though, but a little bit of rumblings there. Chargers obviously have Justin Herbert. Rams now have Matthew Stafford. Are the Dolphins happy with Tua? Minnesota Vikings. My Vikings maybe want to move on from Cousins. Patriots don't have a quarterback. What do the Patriots have to do something? Has Breeze retired yet? Saints have maybe have to look for a replacement for Breeze. Maybe they'll just go in-house. The New York teams, Giants and Jets. What's happening there? I think they're not going to... I think they... I don't think Daniel Jones is probably going to stay, but but Sam Darnold, you got to think they're moving on from Sam Darnold, right? Yeah, Johnny is saying Jets moving, Jets got to be moving on. Eagles, what are the Eagles going to do? Carson Wentz on the trading block. Steelers, is Big Ben going to come back? Niners, I don't think the Niners organization too happy with Jimmy G. They think they could upgrade. Seattle, Russell Wilson, maybe expressed a little, a little grumblings. Um, Buccaneers have Brady, but how, for how long? They might have to think for, for the future. Tannehills should be fine with the, t the Titans and Washington football team. Do they move on there? No, Cam was on a one-year deal. So I, I, I doubt that they would bring him back. We got Tommy Stevens. Green, that's out of five. Saints, Coppola. It's a quarterback, right? There. Could be a new quarterback for the Saints. Out of fives and under, ladies and gentlemen. Gets the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Celebrate the rarity of these cards here. There's Keyshawn Vaughn, Super Bowl champ. And 57 out of 99, Jerry Judy, rated rookie autograph. My rivals, the Broncos, Ramon with Denver. No, Ben saying Cam's done. The goose is cooked. There's Haskins. He's on Pittsburgh to 299. There's another Joe Burrow, rated rookie. Bengals, Ruben. Is Cam Newton done? I don't know if he really fit properly in New England. I think he maybe deserves a. Another one-year deal somewhere. Washington did sign Heineke to a two-year contract. To not to start, though. Maybe to start? I feel like he's a very, very competent, competent backup. Definitely want him. That's to 125. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons, Karen. Is Chase Young your uh, offensive rookie of the year? Joe Namath retro series. It's kind of a cool insert. And there's my guy Josh Jacobs to 199 for the silver and black. That'll be for EA and my Raiders. It's Mark Bissett with the Washington football team. There's your defensive rookie of the year. There's Tom Brady, Super Bowl champ, Buccaneers. Yeah, Gail is saying, I hope he's uh, Cam is not back in New England. Yeah, I don't think that, there he is right there. I don't think that really fit. That's rated rookie hollow, Gabriel Davis. And there's Jonathan Hightower to 299 and a Justin Jefferson. So this goes to the Eagles. That'll be for EA and the Eagles. This uh, rated rookie hollow, Gabriel Davis, going to the Bills. That's for Josh D. And there's a Justin Jefferson rated rookie card for the Minnesota Vikings. Mark Bissett. So Johnny's saying Washington's still going to have an open QB competition. They might, I think they might want to upgrade from... Oh, the Vikings. Justin Jefferson going to have a new quarterback? I think I heard some rumblings that the Vikings may be considering a, a change. Ooh, yeah, what would you get for that Spectra out of five Chase Young? Tyreek Hill to 50. If you don't mind sharing, Ben.
And remember, folks, all card ship in this, which is a treat. Yeah, that flaw. I got I got that case is right here, Gino. That flawless basketball. I know it's pretty pricey, but I've got that case ready to roll. That's not too bad, Ben. Where is that? Is that something? Is that a price point that you were expecting? A little over four hundred bucks. Well, the defensive players don't don't sell as as well as their quarterback counterparts, but I feel like that's a pretty decent price. Where's basketball tonight? Oh, it's Thursday, it's TNT. Rockets and so, someone else. And it's coming up. Ro Heat at Rockets. Oh, you had it for 500 but the dude was nice. Big Ohio State fan. Oh, okay. You gave him a little discount. All right. It's pretty solid. Good. It's, all, it's not always nice when it's going to the fan. It's going to someone's, probably someone's personal collection. I think for me, pulling the big money hit is always fun. You know, obviously. Fun for the customer, fun for me, fun for everybody. But it's always better... You know, it's, there's always something a little extra when someone's buying their teams just for their personal collection. You know, it's going to their collection. Yeah. You know, I think there's something there's a little extra, extra to that. A little extra happiness on all on all sides. Crazy. I'm looking at that quarterback list. I mean, we got over half the league that that are like unsettled. There's only very few teams that are settled with their quarterback. <laughs> well, now that the Stafford domino has dropped, I wonder. You guys, do you guys think that Houston will actually? Um, Will actually trade Deshaun Watson? You kind of have to, right? With that trade request, he just he just holds out and you just keep finding him. If he really doesn't want to play that bad, there's Tannehill for Patrick Davis. And behind champion Chris Godwin is Kenneth Murray. Chargers, Franz with that one. Does Panini ever sell packs of Kaboom cards? Kaboom cards? No. What what do, what do they sell? I, I think they used to have some kind of exclusive packs for on, on the reward site that you can buy with points. Ooh, nice Chase Claypool. Rated rookie autograph, right on the card. Chase Claypool for the Steelers. Capola, nice grizzle. 119 to 150. Maybe it's the Speckle or Sparkle packs that they sell uh, on the Panini Reward site. But I don't know if they sell just, just Kaboom cards. There's Harrison Bryant for the Browns. So Pat, who's in Houston, Texans guy, you've changed your mind. The Jets seem like the only logical place to trade him. But yeah, but as Johnny's saying, that d did Stafford just price out Deshaun Watson for everybody? Or do you think GMs are sitting around going, okay, we know that was a, 
we know that wasn't market, right? There's Henry Ruggs to 179 for EA and the Raiders. George Kittle to 299, Michael P. Ryan. Ramon with the Niners. Gardner Minshew to 179, and Jake from State Farm. All right, so that'll obviously go to the Jags, Patrick. That's a, this is a nice Cam Akers rated rookie hollow. He ended the season strong, Steve. Nice one for the Rams. And of course, there's Tom Brady. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, so Pat's saying that's why the Jets are really the only team that can start the com conversation because of all the picks that they have. So Pat's saying it's got to start with no the number two overall and Darnold plus whatever other picks, maybe future picks. Number two overall plus Darnold plus future one. Would you would you uh, would you take that, or do you need more than that? <laughs> I did not see <clears throat> Tom Brady drunk. I think I did see him throw the uh, Lombardi to someone else in their boat parade that they were doing, which was kind of terrifying. I don't that Lombardi doesn't float, right? I think that goes. I think that goes. Yeah, he was house, says Ryan Harold. I think that goes straight to the bottom of Tampa of, of the Bay of Tampa Bay. <laughs> you got to think Brady's tolerance is like really low, right? Like he's such a health conscious guy. Like, like aside from like a glass of wine, maybe. You know, that alcohol is not touching that body during the season. So, uh, <laughs> so, so, I'll bet he'll get, he'll, he'll get lit pretty quickly. Oh, he threw it to Gronk. All right, he's got, Gronk's got good hands. He's got good hands. Gosh, Mike's saying after the Stafford trade, it's, it's going to take a QB and three to four ones for Watson. You need a pass saying you need at least three to four first rounders plus second rounders. Oh my God, really? Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess maybe Stafford Stafford set that market. Oh, it's Cameron Brait, not Gronk. Well, Brait has good hands too, doesn't he? What if what what if what if Bray drops that and it goes to the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the bay? Is that because Lombardi doesn't float? I doubt it floats. I guess it's me. I thought it was maybe. I guess it looked lighter than I thought it was. How heavy is that? You think? Has anyone held the Lombardi before? There's Brian Edwards at two ninety nine for the silver and black EA. And we've got Pink Velocity, Jalen Johnson for the Bears. Steve with Chicago. That's true, yeah. Wand Watson's still under contract, under 25 years old, star quarterback. Yeah, I guess you got to give up the moon. If you're the Jets, do you do that? Redemption. Would I do that? But yeah, yeah, and then Watson's kind of in the same spot. He'd be 
But maybe he doesn't. What's his, he's got a no trade, right? Maybe he says, "I don't want to go to the Jets." I mean, I think, I think they're both kind of stuck. You're sober, Brady, right here. For Capola and the Buccaneers. Got Patrick Queen to 299. There's another pink velocity, T.Y. Hilton. Uh, 60 out of 79 for the Blue Horseshoes. Rated rookie hollow, T. Higgins. I feel like him and Joe Burrow were starting to connect before Burrow went down. That's kind of a disappointment. I feel like we haven't seen like a big... I think this class can produce it, but I don't think we have seen any big like wide receiver rookies that everyone like wants to chase. You know, but guys like T. Higgins, Henry Ruggs, C.D. Lamb, Jerry Judy, those one of those guys could emerge. There's Zach Moss Orange to 199. That's pretty solid for the Bills. Josh... Buffalo! Hey, Mike, yes. Congrats. I was looking at your name. I was like, I feel like Mike got something yesterday. <laughs> that was pretty nice. I feel like I called his name out a number of times. On some break, it was the Sapphire break, yeah. Everyone everyone was, was had, the, had their jaws dropped. All right. Dame is guessing C.D. Lamb. Ben is guessing Brandon Ayuk. And we've got C.D. Lamb. There you go. I need a pen. Panini's got a, got a, they, they've, they've got to start uh, putting team names on here. All right, that's for Dallas. That's going to go to Dame. There you go. Good call, Dame. Calling his shot. Calling his own shot. That's right. Oh, that's right. Justin Jefferson, I think, is, is turning out to be a very collectible wide receiver. Because before this draft class, was it Odell Beckham Jr., maybe? Yeah, sign your card, CD. I feel like he had, a lot, he had plenty of time from the end of the season. But yeah, Justin Jefferson sounds like he's going to be the the early early favorite to uh, to become very collectible. Ayuk, Ben, Ben saying Ben saying he's uh, or no, was it Ben? No, Ben, Gino, both are saying they're going to invest heavily in Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, if if Jimmy G, what if they if they upgrade from Jimmy G, who's been a little inconsistent in a, in a goffy sort of way, you know, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Help everyone. Helps George Kittle. Helps Brandon I. Subject. What if uh, I don't know? Is Aaron Rodgers happy in Green Bay? I don't think I don't think he's really going anywhere. But what if Aaron Rodgers went back to Northern California? All right, last box, and then, ooh, we've got 40-plus orders. So after this, we'll go through a bunch of orders, and then we'll see what else gets lined up on the schedule. I'm sure stuff is sold out by now. So we'll go through orders, get stuff on the schedule, and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe some more of this. Remember, no late night tonight, so get your spots early and often. There is a late night schedule for tomorrow, though, for Friday. So that should be a pretty fun Friday. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's a Sean Watson. We were just talking about him. Yeah, I guess he's going to cost a lot. Is someone going to pull? Is a team going to pull the trigger on it? Is this team going to pull the trigger on it? There's Le'Veon. 
to 299 for the Jets. That'll be for Mark. Will they pull the trigger? There's Lamar Jackson, Jake Luton. And we got a rated rookie hollow, Zach Moss. Hollow! Buffalo! Josh with that one. It's Justin Jefferson right here, two Elite Series rookies. Vikings, Mark. Max Crosby. One of the bright spots on that Raiders defensive line. And C.D. Lamb, blue. Color match. Matches the color of the team, which I like. Goes to Dame and his Cowboys. And a rated rookie, Jalen Hurts, for EA and the Eagles. There you go. Yeah, well, the owners have been talking about that for a while, Rex. Adding adding NFL games to uh, to the season. There's George Kittle, 79, Pink Velocity, for San Francisco, Ramon. Jerry Judy. A.J. Dillon. Oh, from downtown! Is that's what downtown San Francisco looks like, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know. Jerry Rice, Ramon with the Niners. I think they, these fall one per case. Nice. Um, in downtown San Francisco, you've got you've got bats. A lot of open shaft mines are hanging around. You've got an old an, an old prospector. Yeah, look at these panning for gold. There's gold in them hills. This is yeah. This is what Mark yeah. This is what Market Street looks like. If you haven't been to San Francisco in a while, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. All right, congrats to you, Ramon. That's a pretty nice hit. There's Amari Cooper to 199. Do I think Mahomes will forever be a chief? No. And. Ooh, five out of 25, Tua Tungavailoa Elite Series rookie autograph for Miami. John Deneen with the Dolphins. I think they should hold on to this kid. I know there's been some, maybe it's just, maybe it's just the talking heads just stirring up the, the pot. I think they should stick with Tua. You know, give him another year or two. See, see, see what, see what, see what Flores and that that Dolphins team can do. And we've got Cesar Ruiz for the Saints. That'll be for Coppola. That's fifty out of fifty. There's Lavisca Chenault Jr. to one ninety nine. Harrison Bryant. Hollow, not so to say. I think in Donner's office they call him Hollow. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice break. Let me do. Uh, let me give away some money, and then we'll do a recap. So if you follow directions and you bought at least two teams, you get a chance at some break credit. Let's flip back to this list right here. How much break credit are we giving away? Top five wins fifty bucks each. So this break credit only works for jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you win break credit on our uh, personal breaks channel, then it, you can only use it over there. But um, I don't know. You doubt Mahomes will ever leave the Chiefs? Never. I mean, Joe Montana, everyone thought he'd be a Niner forever. But, you know, quarterbacks get old and maybe they start to look ahead. the future 
I don't think the Chiefs have to worry about that for a long time, though. John with the Cardinals down to Mark and the Washington football team and everybody in between. Let's copy that column. And let's roll it and randomize that list five times for the top five right here. Good luck. Three and a two. Top five after five. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Hell, people thought Brady would be a Patriot forever. So if Brady can leave New England, then I think all bets are off for any quarterback. It's pretty rare for a player to stay with one team their entire career. I could see like Mahomes finishing out the last three years of his career somewhere else, somewhere random. All right, top five after five. So from six down to 32, my apologies. Thanks, ladies and gents, for getting in. We got, we got more cases of this, more half-case breaks. So if you want to give it another shot, try to win some break credit, buy at least two teams. Oh, wait, you got to buy at least two teams, right? So let's actually close that out. We'll use that same dice roll, though. Sorry about that. It's being a total space cadet here. So you got to follow the instructions. I have to follow the instructions. You got to buy at least two teams to get one entry. Four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, just by an even number of teams. So let's actually alphabetize your names by your first names right there. So Dame only bought one. EA, you got two, so that's an entry. Coppola got uh, six teams, that's three entries. John got two teams, that's an entry. Karen got two teams, that's an entry. Mark got four teams, that's two entries. Patrick Davis bought two teams, that's an entry. Ramon bought two teams, that's an entry. Sean got two teams, that's an entry. Steve got two teams, that's an entry. So 12 entries total, which is not pretty good odds there. All right, so I got Steve, Sean, Ramon, Steve, Sean, Ramon, Patrick, Mark, Karen, Patrick. Mark with two, Karen, John, Coppola, EA. All right. This is the correct list right here. So even better odds. Three and a two, five times, top five, after five. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, here's the top five right here. Sean. I Coppola, Karen Steele, Mark Bissett, Patrick Davis, congrats to you. $50 of break credit each going your way. Thanks for following the instructions. Really appreciate it. We'll get that to your email uh, after I'm done with this video. So check your email for the gift card code for 50 bucks. If you've got multiple emails, check both and check spam folders too. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Here's a quick recap. Almost forgot that, man. A little rusty here. We got Jerry Rice downtown, Jalen Hurts, the CD Lamb Redemption, a lot of Brady's, some hollow Cam Akers, Chase Claypool autograph was pretty nice, Jerry Judy autograph was pretty nice, Tommy Stevens out of five, that was a train whistle, Antonio Gibson, Joe Burrow rated rookie, Tom Brady to 99, Tua autograph, and remember that Justin Herbert hollow at the beginning of the break was pretty sharp too. There you go. That was Pick Your Team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.